Mary Jackson, she was originally called Mary Winston because it was a family name. The father was called Frank Winston and the mother was called Ella Scott Winston. She was born on the 14th of April in 1924. She was born in Hampton. Uh, she grew up in Hampton and attended All Black Judge Training School. That is where she attained her education and she later on went to Hampton University. And while at Hampton University, she majored in mathematics and physics. She later on graduated and immediately after her graduation, she taught at a certain black school that was found in Calvert County. Mary Jackson taught at the black school for only one year. And later on, she became a bookkeeper at the National Catholic Community Center. She also worked at the National Health Institute as the receptionist and also the clerk. Later on, she met Levy Jackson. That is when she changed her name from Mary Winston to Mary Jackson. She got married for Levy Jackson and later on decided to go home and take care of the pregnancy and also take care of Levy Jackson, the husband. After her delivery for her firstborn, she is recruited at NACA, which would later on change to NASA. She started working at NASA as the mathematics research assistant, that is the human computer. They were regarded as the colored computers because of their skin. She worked at NASA during a time where there was segregation. So that means her working terms were not that favorable, though she managed to push through. She later on worked with the supervisor on a certain project that was the supersonic pressure tunnel. While working on this project, Mary Jackson got to know that she would not get promotions unless she furthered her studies. Taking advice of the supervisor, Mary Jackson attended the White Plain University. White Plain University was a boys university and majorly a white boys university. She was the first black American to attend that university. She attended the university and got the postgraduate degree after earning herself a postgraduate degree. She was promoted to an aerospace engineer. Mary Jackson helped on promoting ladies, especially the black Americans who were looked down on. She helped in promoting them in certain sectors, for example, as mathematicians, laboratory researchers, and also engineers. She worked on certain projects, for example, the supersonic pressure tunnel. This project was meant to regulate the wind so that a space aircraft would be able to be launched in the orbit at a minimum wind. Mary Jackson being so influential at the NASA company, she later on retired after having worked for 30 full years. Her influence at NASA was recognized because she helped certain women get posts that were not regarded for the black America. Later on, uh, around the 1970s, she retires. She dies in 2008, having produced three children with Levy Jackson, and currently NASA is looking at naming the headquarters of the full NASA facility under her name. That is a great, a great achievement, and it shows that Mary Jackson was influential to the NASA company. Her story, just like the other three, Catherine Jackson and Dorothy Vaughan, is also featured in the Hidden Figures, a book written by Margot Lichet that won itself an Oscar award in the 2016 award. That is the summary about Mary Winston Jackson, who was the aerospace engineer at NASA during the time and was the, among the black women that stopped the segregation that was happening at NASA and the country at large.